Hello, my name is Sharon Sikora. And I'm Dallas Keck. Welcome to the safety training program for the San Diego Fine Woodworkers Association shop. Safety has no quitting time. Safety in the San Diego Fine Woodworkers Association member shop is paramount. This safety video will go over the basic safety practices for the member shop. If you have any questions on the content delivered here, please ask your sponsor. Requirements to use the shop. In order to use the member shop, you must have a signed liability release document on file. Possess and visibly wear a shop issued badge and you must have shop hours on the books available for use. Let's go over the requirements to use the shop. Each shop member must have the signed liability release on file. This is important for the insurance that covers the shop. This lets the shop supervisor know you are certified to use the shop. Lastly, you must have available shop slots on the books. The number of shop slots you have is dependent upon your membership level. Shift supervisors will monitor members' practices and activities to ensure compliance with all shop practices and safety standards. We want to be sure we are good neighbors. We ask all our members to be courteous to our neighbors in the complex as well as your fellow shop members. It's important to use the dust collector system to minimize shop dust. After using the equipment, police your scraps, return tools to their appropriate storage locations, leave the shop in the same or preferably better condition than when you found it. There are a few general shop protocols that you should always keep in mind. Whenever the shop is open, there will be a shift supervisor monitoring all members using the shop. They are there to ensure that each member is operating in a safe manner and ensures that the shop policies are complied with and the safety standards are adhered to. Primarily, the shift supervisor is there to prevent or stop any unsafe activities. If a shift supervisor instructs you to stop or modify any activity that you were engaged in, you must listen. The shift supervisor also has the right to expel anyone who repeatedly disregards shop policies. In addition to being safe in the shop, it's important that we be good neighbors. This can come in many forms. Please ensure that you exercise courtesy when parking. The shop is not the only tenant in this complex. There are several other businesses that share the parking lot with us. Please ensure that you're not blocking the parking spaces or inhibiting their access to the businesses. Please also exercise courtesy inside the shop. We have more than one of most major tools that you might need. If you encounter a less than helpful person, please let the shop supervisor know. We do not want any conflict in the shop. There are also a few general responsibilities each member should maintain. Always use the dust collection where appropriate, and be sure to clean up the equipment after you've finished and remove your scraps as well. Please return any tools you use back to their appropriate storage location so that others can have them available. This will ensure that we have a clean and functional shop to continue to use for the years to come. Here are the things you must do. If you see something, say something. If the machine is not working properly or is out of calibration, notify the shift supervisor. Never walk away from a running machine. Always unplug it before changing bits or blades. Maintain focus on your work. Look for potential hazards. Don't rush. Clean as you go. Poor housekeeping can cause accidents. Secure all loose clothing, jewelry, and long hair. Do not wear gloves when operating power tools. If you do not know how to operate a machine, ask the shift supervisor for assistance. Use the machines only for their intended purpose and report any dull blades. Never reach over a running blade and do not remove any guards or other safety devices. Personal protective equipment is required in the shop at all times, and safety glasses must always be worn along with closed-toed shoes. 
Hearing protection and dust mask are recommended but not required. The three foot rule, maintain at least three foot distance between you and anyone else operating a machine. This allows the person working the, the ability to maintain focus on their work and move within their space without encountering something or someone they didn't know was there. The last thing anybody wants is to be startled while running a saw. If you need to get someone's attention while they're working, do so in the least jarring way possible and never assume someone has seen you. Avoid kickback. Stay out of the kickback zones in the event that they take place. Ensure proper safety and techniques when using hand tools as well as power tools. Make sure you don't get your hand in front of any sharp tool. And absolutely no alcohol or drugs. Along with the three foot rule, we also have a three inch rule. Always keep your fingers at least three inches away from any vein blit or moving parts. Use passive safety devices like feather boards and push sticks to facilitate this. Avoid kickback. Examine and think about how you plan to make your cut in a way that will prevent kickback. In addition to power tools, make sure that you use proper safety techniques when using hand tools. If you have any questions, make sure you ask the shift supervisor. When to call 911? Someone has become unconscious? If someone becomes confused and cannot remember their name, the date, where they are, signs of stroke, sudden weakness, facial droop, loss of speech, and slurred speech. Shift, shift supervisors must use their best judgment. Also call 911 when someone has a seizure. Any injury resulting in uncontrolled bleeding if a ship supervisor has a gut feeling, it indicates a higher level of care is needed. Know where you're located. The shop address is 5360 East Gate Mall, Suite E, San Diego, 92121. This is posted in the shop in many locations, but certainly beside the first aid cabinet and by all the phones. Each shop member's emergency contact information is listed on the back of their badge. You should be called in the event of emergency. Open and close the blast gates as appropriate when equipment is being used. The last thing that anyone wants is an accident or injury in the shop. If you notice that equipment is not working properly or seems to be out of calibration, let the shift supervisor know immediately. Remember, the goal is to be safe and have fun. Safety is up to each of us.